Okay, so we're going to get into the three core analysis um, into more depth. We went over in the beginning and getting our hands locked. Now, I'm going to go over some concepts of the grips. A lot of times when people do these kind of grips, remember, you want your grip to matter. Like, if you just lock here and lock here, like, I have this head, there's not, it's a good grip, but I want to, you want to work on certain grips that are going to cause a choking effect. So one of the good ones I like to use for a choking effect is a three finger grip. So here, the three finger, okay? People that are, are, they study my stuff, they see me do this a bunch of times. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just drop, but I'm gonna try to like, in my mind, I'm choking them like this, like forearm, forearm, choke. A lot of, don't just like try to relax your wrist and hold his head. So it's just a little different approach. So if I just go here, and now I'm trying to choke him, it just gives me some pressure. And it, it's not, I'm, try, I'm not trying to finish him here, but it will matter here later in this next setup, okay? The, you can do the S grip, it's another good one. Uh, I use the S, up, S grip more for like, just a good quick grip to lock the head up. Or you can do the gable. The gable is good, but I don't like the, Gable's basic. If I, I have to be honest, if I would be either on the three finger grip or I'd be on an S grip probably. Okay, one or the other. Now, what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to set up one of my, my favorite submissions. The Peruvian necktie has become very, you know, it's a very common technique. It's a very powerful choke, but um, I find it very easy to counter on most people. And it has to do a lot about the setup, the grips, and a lot of other things. There are some guys that are pretty lights out with it, but I do mine a little different, okay? Um, most people, if you get caught in the uh, proving necktie, as soon as he peels the foot off the head, you know, the joke's gone. Um, the one I'm gonna show you is gonna be a little different from that. I just call it a Nelson necktie because it's a three-quarter Nelson. Um, so it's just a you know, coaching tool. You know, just call it different names if you know what the hell you're talking about. All right, so I'm gonna lock my three quarters. So turn the side, lock my grip, and you know I'm gonna use I'll use the three finger for right now. So what I'm gonna try to do with the three finger grip, the whole time I'm doing this is I want my elbows to try to pass each other. That's the whole reason why I'm using this grip. Because if you use a gable sometimes and you try to pass, your hands come apart. I only use the three finger grip when I want to create that, that, that slicing motion between my elbows, okay? So here, this allows my hand to kind of circle and I have a good grip, okay? The other one is the S, I can't, it doesn't twist as good for me, you know, but it's still very good, it's very strong. This, I get some good pressure, just like I do on my shoulder pin series, same thing. So one or the other, I'm gonna do three fingers, okay? So I get my grip, and I lock, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna create a little space here. So I'm gonna lock them up, and I'm gonna shoot my knee in, like this, okay? So I'm not going over my like, arm, I'm actually going in between, and I'm pushing it in. Now when I do this, I, the way I like to do it is I like to create a little accordion effect I actually want him to roll a little bit towards into me. So when I do this, this leg is gonna move away from him. And it's gonna move kind of fast. I'll do my best to keep it slow. Um, I'm gonna turn and sit. And as I pull him towards me, my leg is gonna go over his back. When he finishes this, he's gonna be in an odd position, but the choke is gonna be super powerful and really tricky to escape. Really, really tricky, okay? And once again, while I'm doing this, I'm protecting my hands. I'm not here trying to just throw it up, okay? Nice and tight, lock here. Knee comes in, okay? I move off my knee to my foot, and I'm gonna pull him into me, and I'm gonna pull, I pull my leg over. And we're gonna roll to the side. Now, you okay? Uh -huh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna curl my right leg. I'll do a few angles for you. And I'm gonna push my knee in. And when I do that, I'm gonna pull him into me and I'm gonna create that, 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 that pressure. Like I'm trying to like submit him, like that little, 
that little pressure with my hands and forearms. So I'm going to curl, push, and turn. Okay, and why I like this is it's going to be very hard for him to get my leg out. So if I'm here, I tell him to try to bring my leg out, try to get this free, it's going to come very fast. If he somehow miraculously gets it out, the choke, my arm pressure will still be good enough to finish. But the thing I like about this is he's not going to get me in a situation where he's here, he's trying to swim me off, or he's trying to do a hip hike through, or whatever the case is. It's very quick, very aggressive, and that, that shin and knee against the neck is, is very uncomfortable. Very, very, very powerful, okay? So, one more time. Let me tad this way. There we go. Okay, so, again, working, lock, three finger grip, nice and tight. As soon as I'm here, my knee comes in, and I'm gonna kinda of torn, turn and face the opposite direction of him. So I'm gonna go in and pivot. Bring him back, over the top. Very strong, very tricky, and uh, yeah, it's just pretty hard to get out of. Um, I'm trying to figure out a better way. I guess I could do it from the other angle with your head here. Well, so you get to see Matt's ass. Yeah. He must be. He must work out. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'm on my three quarter. Knee comes in. Well, see how I'm on my knee? This is gonna happen. So I'm not like gonna do a big motion. I'm just shifting the weight from my knee to my foot. Knee to foot. Yeah. Tight. Knee comes in. Knee to foot. Okay. One of my absolute fam famous, not should say favorite rather, favorite finishes. All right, that's just three-quarter Nelson version of the necktie. I'm just uh, using the shin bone. I think if you actually work this and get the grips right and spend time with it, I'd be really surprised if you go back to regular program. To me, it's the bee's knees, okay? Bee's knees, okay? Three-quarter Nelson, thank you.